I've got the splash page again as bullish, um, but I don't think that I should be really leading you astray here because you know, the move from the low here, yes, the whole thing can be bullish, right? But I can't confirm a bullish move for um, for a lot of other markets just yet. So it's still possible that there's a, you know, a bearish connotation to this in terms of wave A here and an A wave here, a B wave here and a C wave up here for this that would need to come down to here and it can be wave 5c of b here and then move down from that point that's very real okay so um, even though that we're seeing um, we're seeing uh, you know some of the tech stock side of things be bullish um, there's also you know there's there's a bearish case as well so look it, the whole thing can be bullish but there's no way that that anybody can actually prove it as yet um, we need to go past certain milestones and we're not there yet you could you could manipulate things and push things around you could go well uh pete i can see a wave three in here and a wave four in here which would make this wave five here so that would have to be wave one to the upside here and then this would need to be wave two here so that's now where we're bullish pete at that point you know um so doing something like that is is possible um but i don't think that it's the right thing to do um without any sort of evidence at this particular point i think that we're better off being here because let's just say just just assume for a moment right that something like this was here and i have seen counts out there like this so let's just assume that all this is wave one here and two here and one here and two here and one here and two here so we would be in the third of the third of the third so that means that we should see a really powerful move come through here and i can't see it uh coming into play because this little wave one here, this took, say, one, two, three, four days, right? Of, yeah, days we're in, sorry, to have to double check. <laughs> um, well, four days, and then I'll count this here, the top here, because it came down as one, two, three, four, five, five days here. So if this was going to be a one and two here, and we're going into the third of the third of the third, well, then really that would just be like a day and a half or two days back here and then we should be zooming off you know but it's weighing heavily so this whole top here instead of i don't think it's the right i mean it could be true but i don't think it's the right thing to do to look at it as one and two and one and two and one and two i think we're better off thinking to ourselves okay um we've had a few spurts in here like this move here and this move here but apart from that everything's been pretty sluggish really you know so that kind of, you know, puts me towards a bit more of a topping situation. So to bring this back down to here and this to here and this over to here and a wave four here uh, and then looking for a wave five up here. And I don't even think we should go to that length there as well, because realistically, this if this was a wave three here, right, that wave three is shorter than wave one here, right? So that means that wave five here once we put this in here would need to be smaller than you know wave three here so i don't think we can go above thirty-two thousand on this if we're going to treat it like this and i also know too that you know it's pretty obvious that you know the not so much the trading levels i mean they do a good job but you know i can't take credit for psychology as well but you know, big numbers hold the market to them in certain ways, you know. So this number here the, with all the zeros on the end of it, you know, that's going to be a sticky number, isn't it? So it's not going to go very fast or far um, <clears throat> in this in this thing. Now, I can see if we look at this particular move here with a little five waves up here, this is pretty much how we're looking at the NASDAQ and, you know, those big tech stocks and uh, and so on. So we're looking for a bit of a top in those. Now, <coughs> it, um, sure, we could look at this as, as one and two here, and we could look at all of this up here as, as one up here and pull back for two and then move off. That would be a little bit more balanced at that at that point in time, you know. 
So we could do that. Um, in fact, that's, I've got these around the wrong way, really. That should be... Um, <clears throat> if we were going to look at it like that, we should be looking at it in the next degree smaller. So that would be wave three here, wave four here, and then looking for wave five up here with a little five wave move up here in, in that regard. And we take away that wave one there and put this wave one here. Um, that can be a C of B up here because it's still the A, the B and the C wave to here. And I think that's, you know, that's quite valid, that situation. We can have this moving up here further, but we'd need to look for a wave two here for this. So, you know, if this moved up here, we'd need to see some type of, you know, corrective wave that would come back and check, you know, the demand before pushing off again. I mean, that's a little bit more realistic at, the, at that point, you know. So one and two and one and two at that point. But this is all toppy to me, you know, it just looks... I thought about it and I thought to myself, you know, I'm too old and crusty to, to have a moonshot here on this. You know, I've been around the block a bit. You know, I can see that the market is struggling at this point. You know, there's buyers that came in here from the banking, you know, situation, you know, and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's some buyers, there's other buyers in there as well. You know, there was, uh, I can't remember their names now. Anyway, famous people that bought stuff, you know. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, um, look, I still think we're, we're, we're good to the upside, but we also kind of have to understand, too, that this wave two to wave three here is shorter than this one here. So it is also possible to put this on top here and call that topping. So you just, you know, this you don't want this movement back here coming any lower. It's really got to push up from there as three, four and five. And then I'll have a correction across here. So we could indeed have a top in play here. I don't think it's the case because of um, because I know that tech stocks need to move up a little bit. But I'm just saying that's the type of top you know that we that we sh you know we could be looking at uh, here. You know because it's quite small you know compared to this one. It's got the right ratio that when you look at the length of this. And then you look at this one here, which is about 60% of this one, and this one's probably about 60% or 50% of this one here. Um, it kind of got the right look and feel about it, you know. So we wouldn't want the 2800 here, 28,000, becoming the retested resistance at that point. 27, 28 on the nose there. So <clears throat> it's bopping below it. You, so you wouldn't want to make, if you made a new low below this one here, this, this low here, then, then you'd have to call the top in, you know. I think that's got the right sort of look and feel about it as a top there, really. But, I, you know, I can confirm that we could look at this as five waves down and we could look at this here. So if it dropped below here, you know, that's, um, that's pretty damaging at that point. Let's go in and take a closer look at look at that. So my takeaway of looking at the bigger chart here, we cannot, um, we can look at it as a, as a bullish, more bullish picture, but we still can't take away this being an A wave, a B wave, and then petering out to a C wave here for this C or B here. That could be a top here, or it could be a top up here. When I consider what's going on with the tech stocks, then we could push up a little bit higher here. But we can't really push past 32,000 because of the length of green wave three here being smaller than wave one. That's the takeaway. Okay, so <clears throat> um, we want to go to maybe a thousand ticks. If I've updated it, I'll just check. Okay, so yeah, so here I've put the green wave one, two, three, four here, and then we've got one, two, and we've got three, four, five. So we can't, like I said, we can't really go above the 32,000 here because then, you know, that would be the length of, of this one here. Roughly, you can do your own homework on it, but, you know, comes in at the 32 here, roughly, you know. So we can't go further than that. Well, if we go further than that, well, then that can't be wave three here. This wave four kind of overlaps on this one a little bit, but we can take that on board. See, this move here, we can look at this as five waves down. 
You know, we could look at this here as being five waves down here with, you know, down for wave one, back for wave two here, down for wave one here, back again. I mean, you can make this an ABC correction here as well um, without going into all the WXYs and that, which I don't mind doing, but I always go that direction as a last resort after I've exhausted all my philosophical probabilities out. <laughs> um, so, and we can see that we wouldn't want to go down any lower than where we are now on this here because we're too low down here anyway. So, uh, this, I don't even know if that's on the right number there. I just... Oh yeah, 272, that's good enough. Could be another two in there as well, doesn't really matter. So if this 272 here, 27,200, becomes the retested resistance or you know breaches it again at this point, then it's gonna have a bit of a bearish thing in it. And then at that point, we could also assume that we've got a top in here at this point. And then if we've got a top in there at this point, then you know stretching the old elastic band will bring it back into the the ratios over here for this but I just don't think we're quite ready for this pullback in here yet you know because I don't I don't see the tech stocks there a little bit from te Tesla was one of the first ones I've seen with a little impulse wave down from the top but um, I was thinking next week when the US stocks have their earnings in you know so yeah till the US stocks have their earnings in I can still see wave three four here and five up here, and then that would be a pretty top, you know, a top in there that we need to talk about basically. Um, anything above that would be bullish, of course, but it would still take time, you know, to to unravel that. <clears throat> you know, can we change this in different ways? Yeah, you could do. You could put this as a wave one up here and wave two here, but I think the best way to do that is having wave one all the way down here somewhere. And then looking at this as wave three here and four here and then five here. So we'd still need to move past, um, you know, even if you did have wave one here and wave two here, uh, you would still need to have one, two, three, four, five and anything above that, then we can turn bullish at that point. So I don't, I don't see the moonshot here just yet. Um, it's possible, but... Um, I mean, one of the interesting things is is that you see how much time it's spent at group two here. That's quite good, really, because when it gets up here, this becomes this will become a nice support area down here for this. You know, become resistance here and support later, but <clears throat> but that's later. You know, so yeah, there's there's different ways to look at it, but um, I kind of see it more as a topping thing at this particular point in time you know not I don't see it as a um, you know strong here um, and then you know a bit of retail follow through here commercials retail and then there's nobody else to get in you know everybody's in <laughs> so to speak you know um, so anyway we'll see it chug chug along the tech stocks will be topping out uh, the end of this week uh, to early next week when the um, when the first quarter earnings start sort of pouring out and we've looked at the move up here with tech stocks as buy the rumor sell the fact and that's what will create a top for those for those tech stocks so we could certainly see that um, happen uh, here as well but uh, in the meantime um, yeah I wouldn't make any big decisions um, while we're in this space here this is a major trading level three here group one above and group two below if the group one up here becomes a tested support then we're leaving that number to the upside if this here becomes the retested resistance here then we're leaving this number to the downside whatever decisions you make in here I always find it's a mistake to make them early when you arrive here or you're in here it's better to wait for that top first high to come in and then still have patience over this side over here so and that's much safer that way um, whatever decisions and you get locked in over here you're going to get smashed in this you know <laughs> just wait for the first high to come in <coughs> and then um, be patient and wait for um, for this here to see, you know, anything below a three-wave swing here would be bearish uh, and anything above these tops would be bullish at that point. So you have to get on the other side of the fence. We're still on this one. We need greener pastures over here uh, and we just need to chill. There's nothing much to do at this point. So um, that's that. I'll leave it at that. Alrighty, cheers.